एवरीवन वेलकम टू अवर मेरे नॉलेज चैनल दिस इज अवर सेलर भाषा सो इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू शो हाउ टू डू मेजर ओवरऑल फॉर एक्जिलरी एयर कंप्रेसर सो दिस वीडियो विल बी पब्लिश्ड इन सेवरल पार्ट्स सो फॉलो ऑल द पार्ट्स सो दैट यू कैन गेट एन आइडिया अबाउट हाउ टू डू द मेंटेनेंस फॉर एक्जिलरी एयर कंप्रेसर कीप सपोर्टिंग बाय compressor is uh, axillary air compressor or service air compressor where we are planning to do the major maintenance so always do the safety precautions before you start the job for this compressor you have to close the outlet valve switch off the power hang do not start put the compressor in manual so all this thing you have to do so first thing is uh, before doing the job means for uh, removing dismantling this compressor first remove the dismantling the cylinder head and liner first remove the air filter which we are removing now after removing the air filter this is the sperry air filter I means is a sperry compressor so always uh, use proper tools for doing any maintenance for compressor or any machineries because if you use the wrong tools then it will leads to damaging the nut head or bolt head so always use very very proper tool if not you will end up in trouble for the next crew okay so our junior engineer is doing work on it so first we are uh, removing the unloader unloader flange this unloader flange is uh, in the top of this particular sperry compressor not all the sperry compressor will be having this kind of uh, manual unloader uh, provision so as i always say whenever we do maintenance work in compressor follow the manual just a fast forward nothing much it will be slow down so always follow the manual this this video is just to give you idea about how to do all this work so that is the main idea for all my videos so that any junior officers any engineers who wants to work on it will get some kind of confidence after seeing our videos okay so okay back to normal so we are opening all the four nuts so once all the four nuts are opened remove the top unloader well so this is the unloader unit you can remove it out but uh, this is very old it should not come out like this so we'll change the o-ring for it not a problem so this is a cylinder head and inside you can see that's the valve so again for opening the cylinder head you have to remove all six nuts so this is the outlet connecting pipe between cylinder head and cooler so we have to open that disconnect that pipe so for this uh, it's a very big nut so we are using the adjustable uh, spanner and uh, again try to use proper tool and this ship is little bit old and we don't have enough tools so we are managing with what we have but most most of the ship you will be having the good tools so until unless you don't have use for the jugad but always try to use the correct Uh, size tools okay so now we are opening all the nuts six nuts for this cylinder head and uh, we are opening the nut for all so one main thing that you need to uh, keep it in mind when doing any kind of maintenance in uh, compressor is always uh, ensure you are uh, keeping the spare whichever you are dismantling keep it in a proper secured area if not you there are chances that you may miss where you are keeping it so that should be avoided so that is the main thing so always keep that in mind because most of the time what happens is uh, uh, people tends to open and keep it here and there in agency and end of the day what happens is uh, they miss it out then start uh, rounding here and there for looking for the tools it's just a fast forward 
so we'll come back to normal mode okay so very easy to remove the liner it's very fast so just to have a simple idea so back to normal so just open all the nuts and you have to lift the cylinder head so just give a little bit shake and you can remove it okay you can see the condition of the cylinder head it is very old the reason is this compressor has been kept on idle long long time this is the lp valve and you can see the condition of the liner and this liner is damaged and we are planning to change the liner also and the piston is also damaged and we are planning to change the piston also so at least i have an opportunity to uh, show how to remove the liner how to change the piston how to change the connecting rod bearing and all anyway uh, don't forget to follow all the videos related to this compressor so that you will get a continuation of how to do the job so next is we are planning we are uh, we need to open the cylinder liner part so that is what we are doing now so just it got four nuts open all four nuts so opening this uh, cylinder liner nut is uh, very easy only very simple once you open it you just keep the uh, nut safely and uh, always do the job little bit carefully so that you don't uh, end up in injury you can see the liner condition it is totally damaged like lot of scoring mark either some piston must have piston ring must have damaged and it created all scratch marks so okay So this is the liner that we are going to take it out. Okay, so this is the liner. Just pull it up and while taking out, remove it uh, carefully because sometimes the piston may hit your half finger yeah you can see the condition of the piston the piston grooves are uh, so damaged and that is the reason uh, since no spare is available long time uh, it's kept ideal so now we got the spare and that is the reason we are uh, going to do the job <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,